Today is a good day. Why, may you ask? Oh, let me tell you. Today, we will rate coffee chains to find out which one is the best of the coffee chains. So, I'm gonna be going around to various coffee chains in my area. I wanted to pick coffee chains that can be relevant throughout most of the US. And the ones that are in my area that seem to be scattered throughout as well are as follows. And these are the ones that we will be rating, trying. Really, I just want an excuse to try more caffeine and I'm okay with that. Anyways, fantastic day ahead. And I don't know if we're gonna go in this order, but I'm gonna tell you what we're rating. Okay, Starbucks, Dunkin', which was formerly Dunkin' Donuts, it's still Dunkin' Donuts in my mind, but I guess they're marketing more healthy, so they're called Dunkin'. I don't know, but he doesn't want Dunkin', I don't know why you take that, but whatever. I'm not Dunkin'. Anyways, Anyways. Coffee Bean, Tea and Leaf, Pete's Coffee, McCafe, I need another finger. Another one called La Vaza and La Costa Coffee. I honestly am just so excited to film this video because why not go try a bunch of coffee chains? I'm absolutely obsessed anyways. If no one watches, like, that's okay, because um, I'm just happy doing this for myself. At least I know which coffee chains to go to. For the purpose of this video, I want to pick something that's, like, pretty relatively, quote, simple drink that most chain places would have that I can compare, like, equally against. So it's, like, fair, you know. So we'll do, like, whatever equivalent is, like, a medium-sized coffee. I think I'm going to do a cappuccino with almond milk with two packets of sugar because I like sweetened the coffee. I'm sorry if it tampers the taste of the actual coffee, but that's why I like my coffee, so deal. And I'm gonna do sugar-free sweetener because I don't know, it actually is five times sweeter than regular sugar. We'll take into, of course, accountability of taste, presentation, and price. I'm so excited to bring you along with me for this wild adventure of coffee trying. Here we go, great day ahead. I can't wait to load up on caffeine. I've never filmed Joe before. So, uh, I think I just keep my eyes on the road, because safety first. And then I just know that there's a camera in the background so I can look at it. Like I would look at another person in the car, like occasionally glance over, hey, how you doing? Um, anyways, it's just me though, so that's okay. Um, happy, you know what I learned? Ah, it's falling. Eh. Okay, pull over. Okay. Best piece of advice from my father, learn to be your own best friend. Um, and it's true. I have done that and I'm my own best friend. And so all I need right now is uh, me, myself, and I and some coffee. So I'm having a grand old time with myself. So we'll start off with our usual classic Starbucks. Can't go wrong there. I tend to just like do the same thing when it comes to my coffee. I always do Starbucks. I know, basic, but let's try other places and maybe there's something better than there. And like, maybe I would find my new favorite coffee and that'd be great. And maybe not, but at least I know what's out there because life's about trying and you know, just living. So yeah, I do not claim to be a professional coffee connoisseur slash critic however i've had my fair share of coffee in my life and so i think i got this in the bag and to the fellow coffee lovers of the world maybe you too can gain some insight as to what are the best coffees out there so we pick the chains so that they're more relatable throughout everyone today's a good day today's a good day Starbucks has had my heart specifically for years. Let's start with the presentation. That first sip feeling, it says. Yes, I know that first sip feeling, grand. Mermaid lady, very iconic. You know, it's not too overdone, very simplistic, nice. Does a pretty good job on the, the presentation. Nice and foamy, 
it's hard with almond milk to get it like super foamy, so that's pretty good. Okay. Here's my thoughts. Ratio, foam to coffee, liquid part, pretty good. I got both in my, my sip. So that was good. For a cappuccino, you did well. A little... Starbucks don't come at me it might just be because I tend to load up my Starbucks coffee with like 10,000 pumps of sugar and sweeteners and whipped cream and all the things so this to me is like a little bland and bitter but when I think back to the roots of coffee so for the price which was five dollars fifteen cents I think let me just one more sip make sure I'm gonna give it in my personal opinion it's just like a little bitter I don't know I'm gonna give it a seven because it has really good presentation they did a good job for the cappuccino for the price it's a little pricey not horrible but like they could do better it's funny because I'm not as impressed as I thought I would be like I thought Starbucks would be my favorite and I don't really like it plain that much. Which is kinda like, okay. Next stop, right across the street, not even, same shopping center is McDonald's. So we're gonna try out their cappuccino from the famous McCafe. Here we are. Play area now open. That's exciting. Hey, um, can I please have a medium cappuccino with almond milk and two sugar-free sweeteners? And instead of um, whole milk, could I have almond milk? Uh, we don't have one. Only whole milk. Only whole milk. Okay, then that's fine. Perfect, thank you. So we don't have almond milk. Should I have known this? I don't know. Perfect, thank you. You too. So, first things first. They didn't have almond milk. <sighs> I'm not totally surprised, um, but I would hope that they would have other sort of creamer alternatives for people who are like maybe lactose intolerant or vegan because they only had whole milk. So that's like one separate thing, but obviously like the whole milk is gonna alter like the taste. I personally like, like the taste better of whole milk. Then almond milk, I just try to drink almond milk more because it's better for the environment. And the non-dairy just like digest better with my body. I, I teach their own, but um, I do of course like still enjoy the taste of dairy and, and frequently have it. But when there's alternatives, I try to do the like plant-based alternative. Okay, presentation, cute, cute. I like the little like I don't know, I like how it's again just like kind of plain for the most part, freshly brewed. Appreciate that. If you don't love it, we'll replace it, it says. That's very kind of them. Good keeping your customers. McDonald's, let's try it. Ooh, I can definitely taste the milk. It's kind of overpowering, to be honest. I keep drinking it though, so can't be that bad. Um, <sighs> price was $3.45. That, in my opinion, is like a good price for a medium sized coffee. So they did awesome on price. Can't beat that for what you're getting. So like 10 out of 10 for that. Presentation, I, I honestly prefer Starbucks's presentation, but this is a little more like sweet. I like the nice letters. It seems a little like, I don't know, just sort of like fancy and nice. They did good with the foam. See, oh, I spilled, okay. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but it's pretty foamy. Granted, it is whole milk, so easier to foam, but they did a good job foaming it, so. Thank you, McDonald's. Uh, coffee, uh, I think Starbucks has a better coffee, to be honest. So I'm gonna give this like, <sighs> I 
I want to give it a five almost for the coffee, but because the price is so good and the presentation's like okay, I'm gonna give it a six. Um, the price is, is really good, that bumps it up. Coffee is like not as bitter, I think, but it's still there. It's just like kind of mild tasting. Like, I don't really taste the coffee that much, and it might be because the milk is like so overpowering, but like. I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a six. I'm gonna I'm gonna stay true to myself. It's a six. Okay. All right. To the next one. More caffeine, please. So I'm at Pete's, but they require that I go inside. No drive through. We will taste test in the car. I'll come back with my cappuccino. I feel people are watching me film. Um, I'm still getting used to vlogging out in public. Um, slightly awkward, but you know what? I'm gonna embrace it and like. On a mission for caffeine and finding out the best coffee chain so for that i will do whatever it takes okay i'll be back number three i'm actually really excited about this one i love pete's coffee i got a little bit of a history lesson in there apparently they started in berkeley crafted in 1966 as i learned on the wall i talked to the nice barista there and they told me all about how it has started pete's was a little bit of a drive okay so convenience a little harder for me but could be around you so then in that case you know so presentation i really like how they've done it um to be honest it's just very uniform there's not too much stuff going on i'd give them like a Eight out of ten for presentation. I think they do a, a good job. And then the price, um, minus tip. This was five dollars and sixty cents for the cappuccino um, with almond milk. They had almond milk, which was very nice. Okay. Ooh, I like this. Yeah, more pricey, but this is good. This is a good cup of chow. Yup. Yup. Yeah, they do good. They do good. Okay, I'm gonna give this, I'm, I'm gonna give it, I really like it. Not too bitter. Ah, oh, I really like it. Nice and smooth on the tongue. I don't know how to explain it, but just like, it's really good. Um, let's see. Frothing. Beautiful. For almond milk? Pete's. Pete's. I mean, I knew I loved you, but fantastic job. Um, 9 out of 10. Yep. Stand by it. 9 out of 10. So far, my favorite. Pete's coffee. Let's go. I'm starting to feel the caffeine and I'm loving it. Great job, Pete's. Okay, to the next one. We're on our way to coffee, bean, tea, and leaf. I'll check in soon. I've made it the coffee bean. Hi, welcome to coffee bean. How can we help you today? Hi, um, could I just have a medium cappuccino with almond milk and do you have stevia? I do have stevia. Uh, two stevia, yes, please. Okay. Any set with almond milk? Yes, please. Anything else for you? No, that'll be it. I'll do a shuttle for you at the window. Awesome. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Perfect. Thank you. You're so pretty. Me? Oh my god, you're so. Wait, is your name Savannah? Yeah. That's mine. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's so funny. Do you go by like Sav or Savvy? Okay. That's cute. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Nice to meet you, Savannah. Nice to meet you that's too. pretty cool. Awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Have a good day. Oh, so sweet. I just still can't get over how sweet that girl was. Um, complimenting me. I. I mean, I'm okay, but that was very, that was very sweet of her. Um, okay, so customer service, 10 out of 10, 11 out of 10, plus her name was Savannah, 12 out of 10 points for the coffee bean tea and leaf for just being the coolest ever and giving me coffee and I'm so excited to try it. Okay, first presentation. Let's see. I like, I... I might be a little biased now because they're so kind to me. Um, no, I actually, no, I'm kidding. I really like, I like the simplicity of it. I like the like streamline. You can tell like what it is. Like kind of reminds me of Starbucks on the actual like cup itself. But then 
what they put over it, this little hot beverage coaster thing. I appreciate this because it keeps your hand from not burning. I think they did A plus on the presentation. Foam, they had almond milk and they had stevia. So that was like a win-win. Pretty foamy, not like, it's kind of like separated foam, but like, um, so it's not like as dense as like McDonald's foam was. Granted, that was whole milk, so like, I don't know. But Pete's foam, I feel like was a little more dense too. Um, this is more like airy and fluffy, but let's see. And it doesn't seem to be as much foam as Pete's. So, I don't know. It's got kind of a soury taste to it. But I still really like it. A little bitter. But you can taste like the strength in the coffee more than McDonald's. It's not as smooth as Pete's. I don't like it as much as Pete's. There's a Starbucks staring at me from across the street. It's telling me, don't you dare rate them higher than me. But I, oh, oops. <laughs> there goes that. Um, I honestly might. Uh, I'm sorry, Starbucks. Sorry, not sorry. Let's see what the price was, because that might factor in. Okay, it was $4.80. So that's a good price, ish. I'm kind of stuck. I'm gonna give it a 6.75. Yep, 6.75. I think Starbucks is slightly better, but the price is really good for this one. Not like really, really good, but it is cheaper than Starbucks. I like the presentation. I, it's a little sour. It's a little sour, and I'm not sure where that's coming from. Maybe it's the almond milk. Good cup of coffee, though. On to the next. Let's go attend the mighty majesty of the Dunkin' Donuts. They are a classic divine predominant entity. Okay, we're British now. Okay, goodbye. I will see you soon. I have arrived. Hi, um, can I just have a medium cappuccino with almond milk and two stevias? Oh, hot, please. Yes, please. Um, and that'll be all. Thank you. Perfect, thank you. Perfect, thank you. We have our Dunkin' Donuts. America runs on Dunkin'. Cute. And it's just notable, another iconic one. Uh, lid's a little, oh, I kind of like this little doohickey for presentation. Nice and like, again, streamlined. I think it could be a little better. The lid is like maybe not the most aesthetically pleasing. However, I like this like little situation so that you don't have to use like one of those like stopper things. It just kind of comes with it. And then it looks like you can flip it up even more. Oh, oh my God. Do you take this off? I'm confused. Oh, what is this? Okay, anyways, um, okay, we'll put this back in. If it goes in, I'm so confused. Okay, cool. Price, $5.44. So, yeah, up there on the price. So, this better be pretty good, Duncan. Let's see. Mm, really hot. Um. There's no foam. This is liquid. It's supposed to be a cappuccino. I don't know if it was too hot and it like melted. See, it's like just liquid. The foam away, but that shouldn't necessarily happen. Um, so I don't know if they forgot the foam or what, but, or maybe that's just how they make their cappuccinos, but. <gasps> uh, <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, okay. Bound to happen. Disappointing, not no foam. That's a fun part of the cappuccino, but that's okay. I like the taste. A little sweeter, not bitter, not sour, not too strong. Actually, like very, very sweet, more so. 
I'm disappointed, I think, about the foam situation, but the coffee itself, I like. I actually think I like it better than Starbucks. I, I'm sorry, Starbucks. You can tell I'm like moving everything around Starbucks because I know Starbucks so well because I just go there so much. Um, I like it more than McDonald's. I don't like it as much as Pete's. I like it more than the coffee bean. I'm gonna give it a 7.5. Yeah, 7.5. It's pretty good, honestly. It's a little hot, but that's better than it being cold, I guess. But I just, the foam situation, like what the heck? What, what the heck, what the heck? Um, what the even heck? Um, but you know what? Thank you, Duncan. I can see why America runs on you because Pretty solid, pretty solid, honestly. I mean, the price is a little steep, but like, great looking cup, you know what you're getting. I like the taste of the coffee itself, and I guess since I am taste testing coffee, I'll hand it to you. Good job, Duncan. Thank you very much for letting me try you. Okay, now we're off to the next. So we're gonna have a slight change of plans. That's okay, go with the flow, things happen. So, two places we're gonna cut out because one is the wrong place the Costa coffee does not exist here and the place that I thought was the same of it I mean it maybe does exist here but not locally near exactly me so there was a La Costa coffee and I thought that was like the same for some reason but it's not obviously like I don't know much about them so unfortunately we have to scratch them the Lavaza place, they also, I think, exist, but there's like, it's not like the original Lavaza place. It's like a something, something by Lavaza coffee. So I don't know if it's like the legit one. So we're gonna scratch those two because I was looking up going there and then I was like, oh, no, wait, this is gonna be an issue. Um, let's see if there's anything else we can go to. So I was looking up like other coffee places that might exist like throughout the US and that are also local to me. I feel like I got like a good amount of like classic coffee places to go to, but I wanna do one more. So I wanna do Krispy Kreme because I was looking up the biggest coffee chains in the US and Krispy Kreme came up. So I'm kinda glad we had a detour just for like, I don't know, like I wouldn't have guessed Krispy Kreme when I thought of coffee. Like I always think of donuts when I think of them. I think that'll be an interesting thing to see like how they compare. Cause who knows, could be a hidden gem. Off we go. Buckle up. Safety first. We have arrived. Hi, um, could I please have a medium cappuccino with almond milk? And do you have any- I don't have almond milk, we have milk. Oh, okay, um, I'll have whole milk then. Okay. And um, do you have any sugar free sweetener packets? No, we don't. We only have like regular sugar, Splenda, and equal. Okay, um, could I have two packets of Splenda in there? Okay. And that'll be all. Alright, so it's a medium cappuccino with Splenda? Yes. Okay. Thank you. No almond milk. They need to start getting some plant-based milks. I'm so sorry, I actually can't make any hot like drinks right now, so I'm cleaning our um, steamer. Oh. So I can make like, an iced coffee or a frozen or Um, it's okay, I'll just give it then. Thank okay, you though. So no worries, thank you. You too. My Krispy Kreme could not make hot coffee while I was there. Obviously that was not on the cards. That is okay. I'm not giving up, because I don't give up. And I was looking at other places to go for coffee, and I was reading that Taco Bell has cappuccinos and they're apparently like ranked not too bad so i'm very very curious to see what a taco bell cappuccino consists of and you know taco bell has never failed me in the past so let's see what they got kind of tempted to get like a nacho bell grande while we're on it but all right i'm on my way now this will be our last stop of the day. Taco Bell, bring it home. Let's see, for the win. This is amazing. I love coffee and I love Taco Bell. We are at Taco Bell. Hi, good, how are you? Um, I read that you put two cappuccinos, is that correct? Okay, no, it's not a line, you know, we don't. Okay, this one though? Okay, perfect, thank you. Hi, do you guys do cappuccinos? No, we don't. Okay, never mind. thank you though. Okay, I'm just gonna back out, thank you. So I'm just like so confused because it said online they did cappuccinos. Got there. I 
they don't do cappuccinos. Uh, maybe it's just this particular place they don't do cappuccinos or you need to go to a particular place to get their special cappuccinos. I don't know. I don't know. And I don't know what to do. And there's another Starbucks staring at me in this parking lot. I can't do that again. I need to figure out what to do. Okay, I'm gonna do some research. I'll be back. Okay, I figured it out. We're going to Burger King. They do cappuccinos. It says online. I hope that's correct. I need my last cappuccino. Burger King. I'm on my way. Don't you worry. You're in the running now. Do you have um, cappuccinos? No, we don't have cappuccinos. You don't? Okay, never mind. Thank you, though. I'm gonna pull back. There's another Starbucks staring at me. They're literally everywhere. They took them over the plane. <sighs> okay, why are the online places saying they carry these? And then I get there. Not there. I just want a cappuccino. I don't know why this is so difficult. We're going to Panera Bread now because apparently they have cappuccinos. Panera Bread, please come through Panera Bread, please. I have cappuccinos. Your website says you do, but I don't know. Other places said that too. It didn't come through, but it's okay. It's time and I see you Panera Bread. Come up for your destination. I'll let you know. Look at what I have! I'm so happy. Okay, okay. So I walk in there, and the lady behind the counter was like, I was like, do you have cappuccino? I was like, hoping to God they did. And she goes, you're so lucky. I was about to clean the espresso machine, and we do have cappuccinos. And I was like, oh my God. Um, so here's my cappuccino. So I would have missed it had I come like a little bit later. It's 7.59 now. Look at that foam. I don't know if you can see it, but there's foam on here. Foam is, let's see. The foam is like dense-ish. They did have almond milk, so that was nice. It smells good. Okay, let's see. Let's see. It's not the most flavorful. It's not bad in any way. It just sort of is there. Like it's not, there's nothing bad. It's not bitter, it's not sour, it's not too strong. It's kind of like mild and like, but it's like, it does have a certain richness to it I like. It just sort of like, it works. Unfortunately, I was hoping for like a hidden gem or something. I think it's uh, medium. Minus tip, it was $4.99. So not, you know, the most expensive, but not like super cheap. I think that it, it does taste like coffee. I just don't, it's just kind of bland. <sighs> Unfortunately. I thought it'd maybe be a hit. Maybe like a five. Yeah, it's a five. So anyways, I appreciate you coming to watch this video. Here is the beautiful list of our coffee ratings. And um, congrats to Pete's. That was so much fun. I love coffee. And now I'm feeling jittery and I have a headache and it's time for me to go eat food. But uh, it was good. It was a good day. It was a good day. If you're watching this video and you're also a coffee lover or you have a favorite coffee shop that you'd recommend, whether it's a chain or just like a local place in your area, please comment down below. I'm always looking for the best coffee shops of the world and down to explore and discover the new amazing caffeine that is out there. So please let me know. I'm sure others too would love to know your insight. So maybe we can make like a little like collection of like fun coffee places to go to that'd be fun to look at i don't know let me go try them a little community of coffee lovers i love it anyways um yeah please be sure to like comment and subscribe that really does help my channel i have some fun things coming up and ideas that i want to put into action for future videos thanks for watching 
go enjoy your coffee, have a splendid day, and yeah, love you all. Okay.